Hi, well I'm George Faulkner. I'm uh, the owner of uh, Haddon Rig. Uh, we came out uh, here in uh, 1916. So after doing the rams and the wool for, you know, well over 110 odd years, the really exciting part is the meat side of the story. My name's Charlie Bloomfield. I'm general manager at Haddon Rig. Uh, mixed enterprise farm located near Warren in central western New South Wales. Um, we've got beautiful Macquarie River and Mitchell Grass Plains and yeah we developed some centre pivot irrigation at Haddon Rig uh, in the last couple of years to, to more drought proof our livestock business and it allows us to hit the market uh, regardless of what the season's doing. Even in a year like this year where it's probably the second worst year in 135 years of history, uh, we can still produce a good quality product. Um, we can still get the fat cover on the animals that we need um, and uh, get intramuscular fat and do the numbers that we need to be able to produce and hit those markets. At Haddon Rig we join 9,000 ewes annually um, and from that we get around nine to nine and a half thousand lambs. For eating quality and for chefs, Merino's a, a great option. Like all the work we do and the technology we use is, it's producing a, yeah, a great product. They're getting a lot of meat with good fat cover and the, you know, the quality of meat is, is very good. So we started dry aging sheep as just really a point of difference. The, uh, the dry aging process we find actually improves the flavour profile of lamb. We can produce a really high quality product that's uh, really consistent. We're really proud to have our supply chain 100% located in central western New South Wales. We work with Charlie and Haddon Rig as the, pretty much the link between them and the restaurant. So we, we dry age, we process and then it's up to us to get it delivered to their door. As for me as a butcher, I was very sceptical how much better it was going to be and it was amazing how much better it was because of the fats through the meat, it just it presents perfectly. This has got the combination of climate, not too hot, not too cold, the soil touch and the water, and you put all that together, plus good management and a love of the product, and you end up with a very superior product. <laughs>